You just lied hey, to Liz. everybody right here. Welcome to the Mysterious Accent channel. Big Ed has been caught lying again. I used to think that what Ed liked to do the most was argue with Liz, but it seems he also enjoys to talk to his ex fiance Rose. Ed always asking me for uh, FaceTime. You want to uh, video call with him to FaceTime. Big Ed is denying it, but Rose has a screenshot to prove it. Big Ed said, I want to come to the Philippines again to see you if you were open. So yeah, this screenshot proves that he talked to Rose, so he can't deny it anymore. But I also have a screenshot here. In my last video, one of my viewers said, Big Ed always looks like he's holding a fart. I agree 100%, but what I really want to know is, how does a guy who looks like he's always holding a fart get the attention of so many beautiful women? You just said that you were in communication with her. Liz, sit down. Jesus Did Christ. Did he not just say that he, he did. hasn't spoken to her? This is a very serious situation for them. The future of the relationship is at stake here, so Big Ed is gonna take the situation very seriously. Did you or did you not just say I have not spoken to her? Me no speak English. What the fuck? So as you can see here, he's taking the situation very seriously. And believe it or not, he's actually gonna try to blame Liz for the whole situation. You know what, it's not something to joke about, Ed. It is, cause she's, this is her, this is who Liz is. I'm a little confused, I don't know exactly what he's trying to blame her for, but I can't really say that I'm surprised. Because the relationship has always been like this. He always does something stupid and then he tries to blame Liz and then he argues with her. So it's the same old situation all over again however i gotta tell you he has become very creative with the way that he handles those fights with liz you know this is definitely a first blaming her for absolutely no reason it's something that i've never seen before liz what are you thinking right now i um tired of all the lies but big ed disagrees he thinks that he's not lying because this conversation happened one year and a half ago big ed was already with liz at that time but since he doesn't remember he thinks it's okay well first of all i'm not lying to liz i didn't remember if i had texted rose or not and liz and i were broken up he remembers absolutely everything Liz has ever done to him precisely. He remembers absolutely everything ever since the beginning of the relationship. But he doesn't remember if he talked to Rose? Yeah, seems legit. I don't even know, honestly, if we were together or not. But, I can't even tell Ed, you that. You can rattle off every single thing that Liz has done. But when I ask you a simple question like, did you reach out to Rose? You but told I, me no three times that you didn't remember. I might have been mistaken. Right now he's just upset because even his ex-fiance just called him out on all the truths. So that would be the perfect opportunity for Big Ed to say sorry to Liz. You know, he should say something to make Liz feel a little bit better. But actually he's gonna say something to make her feel even worse. Let me have my ring back. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Oh wow. wow. You're a dick. Big Ed is probably scared of her throwing the ring away like she did during the engagement party. After all, the ring is worth like $13,000. Honestly, I think she should get the ring and sell it and keep the money. You're a fucking dick, yo. I'm just gonna say it. He got caught. I just want to move on. Yeah, the best thing for her to do would be to move on, but let's be real here, it's not gonna happen. I'm convinced Liz developed Stockholm Syndrome, so it's probably very hard for her to leave the fart guy. So all he gotta say is, Liz, let's go back to our toxic relationship, and she's gonna go back to him immediately. I think everybody could use a break after that. Yes. Okay. okay. We'll be back. Thank you so much. So Big Ed's gonna use the break to say some very nice things about Liz. Because that's what he does. He's always very good with words. And he knows how to recognize his own mistakes. It was just frustrating for Liz to sit there and play the victim, which she's not. I just felt like she turned everything around. Beautiful words as always. Big Ed always knows exactly what to say to make us root for him. I come here engaged and I'm leaving single. Well, I wouldn't be worried if I was him, you know. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be back very soon. And he knows that it's gonna happen eventually, so he's gonna try to say sorry to Liz. I'm sorry. I think there's an upstairs. Oh, upstairs? Do you wanna go up there? Yeah, you wanna go? 
I think we all know what's gonna happen here, right? He's so bad at apologies that he's probably gonna say something stupid and he's gonna try to play the victim. So how long do you think it's gonna take for him to play the victim during their conversation? 30 minutes? An hour? Liz, I want you to take accountability for yourself. You have to. I don't just decide one day well, I I'm going to break you, up with you. No, Liz. Right now, Ed, the fact that you got caught and you still denied it and it was I right there. I didn't get there. caught in anything. You act like I'm trying to lie to you. I'm not trying to lie to you. Just because I didn't remember it just that seems I had texted like her on one of... You don't remember a lot of things. I don't. But somehow you remember one, everything I do. Number one, I don't lie. I can't believe he said he doesn't lie. Is he trying to say sorry or is he trying to start another fight? He's so bad at apologizing, it's unbelievable. And I have six other couples pouncing down my throat and you're standing there and you're letting me drown and you started to perform. I'm performing? You were performing, you're acting like a little attorney. Thanks you for your apologies. I'm just a fucking performance. Oh. Pathetic apology okay, when you're well, saying that I'm performing. You were performing, Liz. Yeah, you know what? That's how I felt. Honestly, I didn't think it was possible for him to act worse than he did in the last episode, but congratulations, Big Ad. Somehow, you managed to do it. He never fails to act like a scumbag. He didn't even apologize for asking for the ring back. Apology started off great. And now I'm a little fucking performer. Oh, he just told me I'm a big performer. I'm performing everything. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? He said what? He's mad at the fact. He's that mad. When I can't hear anymore about B Egg because he's fucking pissing me off and fuck him because he's fucked up. I think Yara's reaction is the same reaction of a lot of people watching the show right now. There are lots of people who are fed up with Big Ed. Lots of people don't want to see him on the show anymore. I have mixed feelings about the guy. Obviously, he's an awful person. No question about it. However, he makes great reality television, you know? We are in Arkansas with his family. He was DMing girls on Instagram. You break that motherfucking phone. Gets tired of buying a new one. You know the situation is really bad when even Angela is giving advice. I love to see everyone in messed up relationships and giving advice to other castmates. And this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. Fuck me. You ready? Go. Oh, second one. Here we go. You know I'm the classiest, classiest bitch you ever met. <laughs> it looks like Liz is finally having a good time, but Big Ed still wants to argue with her. So Big Ed sneaked up on her when she was talking to Jovi about the tell-all, and he starts another fight. It would take time. Don't be that. such a pussy. I have to go through what she's put me through that you don't see. Ed, listen to me. You, well, do, you do not talk to women small. like that. Big Ed is on fire today, he's fighting everyone. I bet he's so angry because he got caught. Here's what happened today, I had six of you jumping on me, and the one person that I would expect that would support me starts acting like an attorney, goes over and reads a text like I'm a third grader. Basically, no, no, calling no, no, no. me a liar. When, when you're reading I don't, messages I don't, I don't between hear that your ex, that. And, and I told her, I go, Liz, you're performing. When she tells me, you're performing right when, now. She, when Sean asked, do you think Ed is still interested in you? And she goes, yes, but he said he's still in a relationship. We were broken up. There you go. Performance. Performer. Performer. Yeah. Your performer. Yeah. Bye. On the preview of the next episode, it looks like Big Ed's situation is going to get even worse. He said he wasn't on a dating app this year. It's not me. It's not you? Let me see. It's not me. Ed, this was you. Prove that that was me. No. You've talked about Show this my already. messages. I don't know. It's, it was probably never deactivated. It said last active two hours ago. My name is Mysterious Accent. If you want to see the end of the story or if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for today. See you in the next video.